This is Highlights from a single round of King of the Hill Infantry only, I'm playing on uh, MGT's Molden server. This is literally right at the start of the round, just on my way into the AO for the first time in this round. And uh, you can see there's quite a lot of blue team in this, just appeared in the spawn behind us, and that's because uh, they've just all been in a helicopter which has just crashed unfortunately. So yeah, not looking too good for the blue team at the moment. None of us in the sector right now, still right at the, end, right at the start of the round though, so nothing uh, too much to worry about just yet. But you can see now, just a few minutes later, just as I'm getting into the AO, and we've actually got a bunch of blue team inside the priority area, and we've taken lead already. Hear those gunshots a second ago, Navy. Just killed a friend in the I had initially joined blue team because they had the least amount of players, but uh, quite quickly they've suddenly gone to the most amount of players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm joining you guys. Using the under-barrel 50 on the Type 115 there, extremely effective. It's another one. Fuck. Gilly suit, got him. That was lucky. Heard the uh, gun firing, looked in his direction, and uh, yeah, could just about see him moving as uh, his gun was recalling as he was firing it. Otherwise, it would have been pretty damn dif difficult to see that guy. But yeah, blue team's taken a massive lead already. I'm trying to stay into the. I'm trying to stay in the priority area. Um, there's we got quite a few blue team that are trying to do the same, although a few of them are including my squad are outside the priority area at the moment. We're trying to keep up with it though. Yeah, it's okay. I got it. It's okay. I got it. Trying to shoot the heli with the underbarrel 50 there again. Extremely powerful that is. It shoots <clears throat> does shoot through quite a lot of things, and as you can see, I actually got a kill there. I think I must have uh, wrecked the heli and it crashed. I've uh, got a friendly just out here, throwing down some smoke so I can go and revive him. Still trying to keep up with the priority area, although uh, our team's actually totally uh, winning the game, totally in the lead, so it doesn't really matter too much that I'm not in there right now, but just doing what I can to keep everyone alive, everyone that's near the priority area. Now, I heard some shots come from up there, so I went up to have a look, and uh, yeah, the guy was not aware of me coming up. Rocket hit the car, I'm not sure how the car didn't blow up then, but got killed anyway, so not too bothered. Got him, got him. Guys, I need an engineer over there. Fuck, missed. Oh dear. Where's the one here? Where's the one here? In the hawk, in the hawk. I see him. Oh, I killed one. I actually managed to shoot someone in the helicopter then. That weapon's actually quite effective at shooting helicopters there. Maybe not quite as effective as uh, APDS Lynx or something like that, but still extremely effective to use the underbarrel 50 on helis, as you can see. Shot someone out of one of the seats in the heli. Where's the target? Where's the target? Uh, we're actually in the priority area now, but Tower 1's got a pretty good view of the priority area, so just having a look up there. I'm pretty sure I saw an enemy on the roof a second ago. I'm just waiting for him to uh, peek. Just see the top of his head over the uh, side of the barrier there, but couldn't quite get him. That was a bit of a difficult shot. Shouldn't have taken, the, taken it then. Should have waited until he exposed himself a bit more. Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. But once again, the priority area is moving around very fast. You have to stay pretty on the case to stay inside the priority area. Just outside it at the moment, but still, blue team's totally ripping, so... It's not so important for me to stay in the priority area at all times at the moment. Sorry, I don't want to die. I've lagged behind the priority area a bit, but we have taken quite a lot of contact here. Got a group of friendlies going to take Tower 1. I assume we've taken quite a lot of fire from Tower 1. I've not had too much trouble myself, but I've been lagging behind the other players a bit, so perhaps that's why. Yeah, 
Now I did see an enemy just in front of me there. He's lying on the floor, wearing a ghillie suit. Doesn't seem to be chasing me, so I'm just going to risk it and try and rush him. Yeah, I think he was uh, healing or messing around with his inventory or something. Didn't see me coming, whatever. Go for the quick rearm on the dead body, pick up any health packs and grenades that way, without having to fully go through the inventory. Revive my mate there, not exactly sure where he got killed from, so having a good look around, but uh, yeah, managed to heal him without getting killed myself. Now let's go and get some ammo off this dead body, because I'm actually running a bit low on ammo myself. Yeah, there's a fear, so I've taken that. Fitted the scope that I had on my Type 115. There's a fear with the DMS, it's pretty good actually. Okay, back into the priority area. There are some green teams, uh, there are some green team members in the priority area right now. Just notice this guy over the wall. Wait, so how did you actually see that guy? He did not hear the grenade bounce off the wall behind him, unfortunately for him. It looked like he was trying to stay still within the priority area, and as you can see, you don't really want to stay outside if you're not going to be moving that, uh, moving around too much. You want to get inside the buildings. Makes it much more difficult for you to be uh, spotted, makes it more difficult for the snipers to shoot you, and makes it more difficult for people to see you while abusing the third person view like I did on that guy there. Ah, oh, the friendly just died, I think. Turn back, turn back. There's definitely still green team members inside the priority area at the moment, as you can tell from the flags in the bottom right. Any numbers that are yellow indicate that that team has players inside the priority area. So right now all three teams have people inside the priority area. I want to pick up that rocket launcher, but I've got to check around for enemies first. No problem. Ah, shit, that was the third one. I should have cleared upstairs. Damn it. Jump out, jump out. Here it is. Nice. See you later, Ghost Talk. Sure did. Once again, moving around within the priority area, and heard some gunshot from over here, so I'm going to go and investigate. Did actually take a little bit of damage, but not that much, luckily. Right, we've got Dead Friendly here, so he's being revived, so what I'm going to do is just cover these two while he's being revived. I'm just waiting to see if any enemies come through either of those doors, and I'll try and shoot them as uh, the Friendly doing the reviving won't be able to shoot for a few seconds, as he was locked into the revive animation there. We can uh, cancel that animation, but it does take a few seconds. But once the other Friendly was up, I decided to uh, move along and try and help these other two Friendlies. They're not as covered by smoke as I first thought. I heard some uh, gunfire coming from the direction I'm facing right now, so I'm going to go and have a look, but there's another uh, dead friendly over here, one I probably can revive. So, let's go for it. And I'm pretty sure the gunfire that's coming our way right now, the enemy gunfire that we're being taken out by, is just to my north, one of the nearest buildings to the north. I'm thinking it's that pink one there, seems to be quite a favourite building there, and I just saw someone in the top right window of the pink building. 
just gone behind the wall to take some cover. Had a look to see if I could see him through the window, but he seems to have backed off now, so I'm going to take this opportunity to push the building. And luckily I noticed that guy uh, before he actually came out the back door there, so I was prepared. And again, that guy was sprinting, so he didn't have his gun up, and that allowed me to get a faster shot on him as I had my gun already raised and uh, looking through the optic as I was moving up the stairs. Gives me the ability to get the first shot on target really, really quickly. If the person you're going up against not the same, not doing the same thing, you can usually get your first shots in much faster that way. But obviously you can't run around doing that all the time. You've got to know if there's someone there or not really, because the movement is too slow to be running around all the time looking through your uh, optics. Actually quite lucky to get away with that kill there. Um, only hit him with two or three of the shots of the burst that I actually fired. I shot the wall near him and the window behind him and everything, but did actually manage to get him before he got me. Unfortunately he got taken out. Trade kill there. I was just about to go and heal that uh, guy that I've been trying to heal for a little while as well. I didn't quite manage to do so. Yeah, pilots just love showing off all the time, that's why I don't get in the helis too much. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting so many enemies to be there, wasn't quite sure what to do, and decided to just run away. <laughs> He's still alive. Yeah, yeah. I've got to the priority area, but I've taken damage and uh, I've got a dead friendly over there. I'm going to try and revive a dead friendly in a second, but I know there's enemy going to be coming from that direction that we just came from. Certainly they're going to follow us from there into the priority area. We went to get the revive on my friendly before the enemies came up, but I saw this uh, enemy mohawk trying to land in the priority area, so I can't allow that. I've got a moors. Got to go for the shot there. Wow. I only just got away with it, it uh, started taking fire almost immediately after firing the rocket there. Managed to get into the building just in time. But yeah, I've gone in the building to heal myself even though it's outside the priority area. Um, as I was saying earlier, you're just too open outside the buildings. Too open to snipers and people looking over the walls and third person view and stuff. Definitely better to go inside buildings to like repack your magazines and heal and stuff like that. Um, also reloading the um, rocket launcher is also a good thing to do in a building, although I don't actually do that often enough myself. I usually get killed while reloading a rocket outside a building. I want to heal my friendlies there, but I can uh, hear that we've got some incoming enemy grenades. And I didn't quite see that guy fast enough, unfortunately. You're welcome. Okay, I guess now we'll work. Let's watch your videos type. Really near to me. I think just, if you look on the map, I think you go to see him. I think I just got him. Yeah, yeah, that's him, that's him. It's just confirming with the friendly that died that that was in fact the enemy that killed him. Now there could be other enemy looking over here, but I know the one that was the the, the one that killed my friend that definitely was looking this way is now dead. So. I'm going to go for the revive, but I'm going to put some smokes down just in case there are any other enemies about. King of the Hill, we don't get too many people by themselves. Usually they're in uh, at least small groups. Thinking about trying to take a few shots of that heli, but it's a bit far away and uh, this friendly still needs reviving. Although it looks like some other friendlies might be going over to revive him here. Yeah, I do. 
running through the smoke. We haven't taken too much fire from uh, Tower 4 this round. Blue team have been in control of Tower 4 for a lot of the round, I think that's why. In the south Yellow. Tower, I think. Yellow building, I think. Near the, next to the smoke. Going in there. Yeah, only just about got away with that. He wasn't expecting anyone to come through the door, um, but he did still manage to get a few shots in on me. But yeah, as you can see, the audio, uh, making use of the directional audio is super important in King of the Hill. So I would suggest keeping the use of the in-game comms to a minimum in order to help you to keep your situational awareness up through the use of sound, i.e. listening out for what's going on around you, listening out for gunshots, footsteps, etc. And the best way to do that is to keep the communications to a minimum. Sometimes I might, might mute some of the more vocal players in the team chat. I know that often they are providing useful information, but for me personally, I just prefer to keep the situational awareness up by keeping the comms to a minimum. Body in front of the church has got grenade rounds on it if you're a grenade launcher. Don't think any of you guys actually have though. I think that's the enemy frag. Yep, yeah, I think we could be right. Blue team's just storming it once again. Just having a quick look back at the yellow building over there to see if any enemies have gone over there to revive either of the two dead enemies that were in the building. On the roof. The roof the, uh, the peak house. On the top floor on the actual roof. The actual roof. Got him, we got him. Cool. Couldn't see him from in that building. Oops. Alright. I think an enemy might... Like... Enemy just threw that smoke, he's the other side of the wall. This wall I'm facing, he's just the other side of it. One in the cream building, he's probably going... Past my body. Past my body. He's in the building there, surprisingly quick. Nice. Pretty sure it's the same guy though. Yeah, I'm trying to get some smokes. I'll try and heal my friendly here. Just outside the priority area, so... Hopefully there's no enemies over here. Friendly just threw a smoke there. Uh, getting quite close to the end of the round now, and uh, blue team has totally stormed it, quite surprisingly. Doesn't usually happen with blue team, but uh, yeah, certainly has done this round. Yeah, you made one, man. Heli coming in, easy shot for the moors if I had one. Yeah. Don't have one at the moment though. Nice, good shot. Yeah, the enemy's having a pretty hard time getting into the priority area at the moment. And there's actually a few helis and vehicles trying to get right into the priority area as we're getting close to the round. They're taking quite high risks. They probably shouldn't though, they should probably stop just outside the priority area um, and try and make the last 100 metres or so on foot. That's how I'd do it, 50, 100 metres. There's quite a lot of cover around here, it's quite a built up part of the map. Most of our right there. Unlucky uh, for them. They came a bit too close to the priority area. They're in good there. Uh, still still one. He's, it's just in front of me by this cream building. Ah, uh, it's right near my body somewhere. Unfortunately, that guy was expecting me to come around the corner there, and he took me out. Friendly did get him. I've been revived. Straight back into the priority area, trying to maximise our score before the round ends. Trying to stay in the priority area as much as possible. You can see that there is uh, at least a small number of green team in the priority area somewhere. So having a look for them while we revive this guy. But no sign of them.
to win this shit. Ronnie had a quick frag. Let me get this. Nice and twenty more dollars. Yeah, I'm just randomly throwing my loss. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. Randomly throwing my last grenades. Yeah, it was a good game. Not particularly well balanced round, a bit un, uh, uneven in Blue's favour, but still quite good fun. Good teamwork going on, and uh, a lot of Blue's trying to stay in the priority area for the majority of the round, and that's definitely what won us the game there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Yeah, good game, man. Catch you later, guys.